My mom and dad loved to tell the story that when I was in kindergarten, the teacher asked the class what holiday came between Halloween and Christmas. And I was the first kid to raise a hand and say it was opening day of duck season. And at 40, almost 41 years old, I still feel like the national holiday that happens between Halloween and Christmas is the opening day of duck season. And every year is a little different. Um, water, ducks, seems like it's never the same. But um, the older I get, the older my friends are, the older my dad is, the more difficult it is to kind of get everybody on the same page. And since we hunt so much public, um, it's always tricky to kind of get everybody lined out, figure out where everybody's gonna hunt. And um, so I guess about a week or 10 days before the opener, I ran into my good buddy, Conrad Powers, and he offered to let us hunt a place that he had. They weren't gonna be there, and so it kinda, it's not really like me to accept an invitation like that, especially on opening weekend, but um, man, it, it just, it really was cool how it worked out. He had a little bit of water trapped in there because uh, of a beaver dam, and so my dad and I and Trip and then a couple of just really good old buddies um, were able to all hunt together. like we're doing something wrong, not in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs>
we didn't shoot them all, but Trip shot, you know, I don't know, three or four. My dad shot three or four. Um, there were plenty of gadwalls around, which made us feel extra special um, when the Mallards didn't want to do it exactly right. But, you know, all in all, it was awesome to kick off the season, kind of get things underway. Um, there's not as many ducks here as I wish there were, but it'll get better. And um, it's just a good reminder that, you know, spending time with people that you really care about is really what it's all about. Um, so it's good to be back. Thank <laughs> you.